called this rivalry the big brother, little brother situation, and he called you guys the little brother. I mean, I know you like to talk a little bit out on the field, and, and you, you give us some good sound bites in here. What, what do you make of that comment? Is that something to laugh off, or is that something for you guys to use as bulletin board material? Uh, you, you still got to go on the field and play. You know, all this talking before the game, it, what matters is who win the game and what you do on the field. So I don't worry about all that talking off the field. Just this rivalry in general, the last two years they've knocked you guys out of the Rose Bowl. Would, would this be the ultimate revenge to knock them out of the BCS? And, and is that something that you guys can sort of use as motivation this week? Uh, it's not to knock them off. We need to win because we need to make it to a bowl game. And I think that should be our motivation in order for us to continue our season, not try to stop them from making it to a national championship game. Uh, back to that kind of big brother, little brother. He said it was like a backyard brawl. You're obviously a little brother yourself. Uh, did you and James ever have any brawls in the backyard? And if so, who won those? Me and James, we, when we were smaller, we always fought over, you know, football, anything dealing with competing because we hated to lose. So, you know, you try to do anything to win, no matter what it took. Who won? Who won when you guys fought? We was evenly matched. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, so speaking of James, what did, what did his injury do to me? I guess mean to the team this season. J James was a big part of our offense, but you know we won some games without him, and we lost some games without him. We would have loved to have him because he's a big playmaker on our, on our offense, but you know he's not with us, so we just got to keep rolling without him. Do you think it's affected your play, or you know, how much the, the defense has, has been able to key on you? You can say that a little bit, <laughs> you know, just to have that other playmaker out there with me and somebody I know for sure is going to make those plays every week. And, you know, defenses couldn't just stack up the box like that every week So, because we had a deep threat like James. How about Ryan, Ryan's development as a quarterback? Um, you know, with, without having James there, do you think it affected, affected Ryan? Ryan has, Ryan has done a great job, you know, like everybody, he made mistakes at times, but us as players, we got to help him out. You know, me personally, I haven't been doing my job, you know, the past weeks in order to take some pressure off of Ryan. You know, receivers got to do their job in the O-line. So if we just put it all together and just make, it'll make each other job way easier. I guess finally for me, um, the, you know, a lot of the talk surrounding the Ducks this year is how fast they play and wearing opponents down. Do you think you guys are, are ready for that, and will you change anything in, in to, I guess, to prepare for that? Well, I'm not on defense, so, but for us to help our defense out, we got to, uh, you know, continue our drives, drives, you know, and stay on the field and convert third downs so they won't have to be on the field most of the game. You said it came out pretty even with you and James. So what does little brother have to do in that kind of situation to keep up with the other guy? Man, we didn't look at each other like little or big brother because we were so close in age. But I didn't really hear the question you asked, though. <laughs> well, if, if it is a little brother situation, trying to compete with big brother or fight or whatever it is, what does little brother have to do? The little brother got to go out there and fight and just, you know, give it his all because he's the little brother. Quiz, about half of your games this year almost have been against top 10 teams. You have another one. Do you sort of like it that you're playing a number one team, that game day is here, that just that big game atmosphere? Does that add some incentive for you and your team? That's not for us. That's for the media. That's for all y'all. For us, we got, we got to go out there and play and win, win this ball game because it's – Go hard or go home for us, if you look at it. Is it any more difficult coming back from the Stanford game, being shut out like that, or is it hard to come back from that? You know, as a team, we, we said we are going to put that game behind us, you know, and focus on this game, because it's the next one, and it's the biggest one. A lot of the comparisons this week are going to be between you and Michael James. How do you compare yourself to LaMichael, and what are some of your differences, perhaps? Uh, LaMichael, he's playing, he's right now is the nation's top back, you know. Uh, I think he's the one of the nation's leading rusher, and his team is number one in the nation. He's winning games, so he's a great back with two different backs. Uh, he's a fast guy. He can hit that home run touchdown 
at any point of the game. So we just got to do our, do our job and you just stop him from making that play that he always make. And as everyone's been coming up today, they've been putting the giant killer shirt on them and you guys are wearing the giant killer uniforms. You know, how does that, how does that factor into kind of your getting hyped up for this game? <laughs> when it comes down to it, you got to win because all his uniforms and all his extra attention really don't matter if you don't win. You've had to hear about Oregon all year long. Even if, you, even if you try not to hear it, I'm sure you have heard about them all year long and you always be compared to them. Does it, get, does it get annoying hearing so much about how well they're doing as opposed to you know, how you guys are kind of struggling just to make a bowl? You know, they're doing a great job. I don't, you know, there's no hatred between them, but you know, when you, when you win games, you get that attention. You know? So they, they well deserve all that attention that they're getting because they put up points and they win the games they're supposed to win against great teams. So, you know, this week we got to try to, you know, beat them and take some of that attention. Your third year now in the Civil War, your second Civil War, you missed that first one. What have you known now about this rivalry? What makes it special? Why is it important to you? Uh, it's big. You know, the last two Civil Wars, something been on the line. For us, it was the Rose Bowl two years in a row. Now they got the National Championship on the line. So. This game is big, no matter what the case is. Quiz, a few weeks ago before the Washington game, you told a group of us after practice that it was going to be a new you the second half of the season. How do you think you've played the second half of the season? Did you? Man, I was on a roll. I, I died out again. <laughs> Man. I don't think I played up to my you no know, full potential. Man. Three games in the last four, four games I haven't gotten the end zone. I got to fix that for this week. Anybody else? Thanks, Chris. Yeah.